Here's a lovely little problem from the grade 10 exam. It goes as follows. Consider the set of numbers 1, 10, 10 squared, I guess 10 cubed, all the way up to 10 to the 10th. The ratio of the largest element of the set to the, to the set, oh, largest of the set to the sum of the other 10 elements of the set is closest to which integer? Well, I'm suddenly very confused, so I'll read that question. Right, let's take it very slowly. Consider the set of numbers 1, 10, 10 squared. So this is about set theory, I guess, but maybe it's not. It's just about 10 numbers. Uh, 1, 10, 10 squared, up to 10 to the 10th. Nor do I realize I just said something incorrect. Is that actually 10 numbers? No, it's actually 11 numbers. 10 to the 0, 10 to the 1, up to 10 to the 10. Well, that's 11 numbers. Got that sorted out. We've got 11 numbers. I want the ratio of the largest number in the set, okay, that's obviously the largest number, to the sum of the other 10 elements of the set. All right, yep, there are 10 more. It gets up to 10 to the 9. So I'm looking at the largest number, 10 to the 10 is the largest, and the sum of the remaining 10 integers, 1 plus 10 plus 10 squared, all the way up to 10 to the 9th. All right, so now I've got myself sorted out what the question is. Talk about the ratio of these two values and ask, figure out what integer is that closest to. Oh, so I seem to be doing some approximation here. It says, what integer am I closest to? Which means I have to make some guesses and estimations and so forth. So what I'm going to do here is, strategy number one, just flail, just do stuff and try to get some feel for what's going on. So we'll engage in successful flailing. Now, if you're going to present this in, say, a pre-calculus class, students actually know a formula for a geometric sum like this. And we could bring in the big guns and actually write a formula for it and see where it gets us. But just for the moment, let me just develop an intuitive feel for this. I mean, what is 10 to the 10? That I can do. It's a 1 with 10 zeros after it. And I'm probably going to lose count right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Some big number. And what is this number really? 1 plus 10, it's 11, plus 100, 111, plus 1,000, 1,111, all the way up to 10 to the 9 is obviously 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And that should be, what, 9 ones? Yeah, 9 ones. So we're asked for the ratio of the largest number to the sum. 1 with 10 zeros over a, what's called a rep unit in math, math speak, a number that's nothing but ones, nine ones. So the question is, I bet that's not a perfect number, but it's not a perfect integer, but it's probably really close to it. So I'm going to ask now, how many multiples of 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 sit near, what's that number? Two, two, two. Oh, whoops, uh, 10 billion. How many multiples of 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, go into 10 billion. Well, if I can certainly double it, 2 to 2, 2 to 2, 2 to 2, fits into that, triple it works, how high could this number be? Now, think about it. This is nine digits long, that is a 10 with nine zeros there after it. The answer is actually pretty clear if you think about it for a while. I can see it right now. This problem has just fallen into place in my mind. So think about it too, see where you get with it, and then check the essay that goes with this problem. It's worth looking at. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.